Hi, I am Ricardo Giorgi. Welcome to this bending technique lesson. This lesson today is meant for a beginner guitarist, but I hope you can find it useful even if you are an intermediate or an advanced guitar player. From my personal experience as a guitar instructor, it's very important to review the fundamentals from time to time. This is something I do a lot in my practice routine. Actually, the more I go deep with something, the more I discover different aspects of that particular thing I didn't notice before. It doesn't matter if it's something apparently as easy as a simple bending, or it's something clearly complex. In this lesson today, besides covering the bending mechanics and techniques, I will show you a very useful exercise to improve your bending. If you are new to my channel, I do videos all about the guitar, guitar lessons, gear reviews and tuition to help you grow as a guitar player and musician. So if you are interested in these topics, subscribe to the channel for more of this content. First of all, let's talk about the mechanics. This is how I bend the string. For me this is the most efficient way to play a bending. I usually bend the string at least with two fingers up to four, like this. Two fingers, three fingers and four fingers. All of this while the thumb stays here, in this position. In this way it's easier to control the pitch of the note and being more precise as well. For instance, let's bend the note up to a half step. This B, 12th fret, 2nd string. Or a whole step. A step and a half. Two steps. Or two step and a half. Bending is a very personal thing and I usually don't ask my students to play a bending in the exact way I do it. This is the most natural way for me, but it's one of the many possibilities. For instance, some people prefer to use the fingers to bend the string, like this. And that's perfectly okay. I personally prefer to keep my finger fixed on the string and to twist the entire hand like this. This is the actual motion I do for a bending. This one. And now let's dive into the exercise and let's fine tune our bending technique. This is the exercise. This exercise is based on a simple D major scale, played on a single string, the third one in this case. And this is just an example, you can apply this idea to any scale and any string. I played each note of this scale first on the fret, and then starting from the previous note in the scale, I played the same note, D in this case, this time using a bending. By doing this you always have a pitch reference for your bending. This is the idea. For instance, if I play uh, an F sharp, my bending will start from the E. If I play this G, my bending will start from the F sharp. And so on. Just to be sure I explained myself, let me repeat the same idea this time on the second string. This is just the tip of the iceberg, there are still a lot of things to say about the bending technique. For instance, reverse bendings, unison bendings, or how to bend the note using the whammy bar. If you are interested in some bending related topics for my next lesson, just leave a comment and ask. I am here to help, so feel free to ask and to give me your feedback. If you found this lesson useful, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to activate the notification bell and hit the like button. Thank you so much for enjoying this lesson, see you in the next video, bye!